When it comes to dual camera smartphones, there are two philosophies, the wide angle and the 2x zoom. We're going to put two of the brightest shining stars to the test, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and the LG V30. I'm Nicole Scott from OA Geeks, and I'm the kind of gal who likes a wide angle. And I'm Michael Josh from Gadget Match, and I like zoom, zoom, zoom in the boom, boom. This is our Samsung Galaxy Note 8 versus LG V30 camera test. Zoom lens or wide angle? Before we begin, a tale of the tape. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 has two main cameras, both with 12 megapixels and optical image stabilization built in. The first camera shoots at f1.7, while the second camera is a zoom lens that shoots at f2.4. The LG V30, on the other hand, has two main cameras, one with 60 megapixels and f1.6 lens and optical image stabilization, the other a 13 megapixel wide angle shooter with an aperture of f1.9. This video will only partially deal with camera quality. Instead, our goal is to figure out which is better, zoom or wide angle. If you love traveling, you will appreciate the wide angle lens of the LG V30. It's perfect for shooting majestic sceneries and photographing landmarks. Take for example, the Brandenburg Gate. We got up close for a better look and we were still able to shoot these photos. When you're right in front of a landmark, only a wide angle lens can capture the entire scene. So there are some scenarios where you're literally backed up against the wall. I wanted to shoot this cute German courtyard while showing off the great autumn colors that encompass the entire facade of this building. The wide angle on the LG V30 lets me do that. The case was the same while we were shooting at the train station. Michael could only walk back so much without falling onto the tracks. This is what was shot using the Note 8 standard lens and on the V30 standard lens. And now the wide angle. Notice we were able to shoot both the zoo garden signs, the skylit roof, and the trains going in both directions. But if you're like me and you like to shoot food or drinks, then a zoom lens also comes in handy in situations just like this one. If you're into street photography, the zoom lens on the Note 8 is perfect for those stalker moments. Kidding, we don't recommend being a creep, but it does let you get close when the subject is far away. As it turns out, Carol is actually my friend, so using the zoom lens and the bokeh feature on the Note 8, I also took this photo, something not possible on the V30. Speaking of portraits, Nicole and I chanced upon this magical garden while on a walk one day. It was the perfect place to take some portraits. And live focus mode allowed us to adjust the background blur before and after taking the shot. But all I needed to do was crouch down while using the wide angle on the V30 and I was able to take this shot. All it took was a different perspective. Speaking of perspective, using the wide angle may come in handy if you're into square crops for Instagram. Food flat lays are a perfect example. You don't have to be obnoxious by standing on your chair. Just shoot the wide angle and crop before you post. Of course, you can also change your angle and shoot gorgeous shots of coffee using the zoom lens. Speaking of zoom, there are also some instances where you can't really move close and zoom in. One afternoon, we were at the park and I spotted this rainbow and the zoom lens came in handy. But the digital zoom on the V30 did a pretty good job. So Nicole, looks like we don't have a clear winner here. Both of these cameras are great, so it really comes down to your style of shooting. And if you don't know what that is, the best way to find out is to check out your Instagram account. If you head on over to my feed, you'll see a lot of landscape shots, a lot of scenery, a lot of food photos, but you won't see a lot of people. Meanwhile, on my feed, you'll see a lot of portraits, a lot of close-ups on objects. So in that case, the zoom lens on the Note 8 is the camera for me. And I'm definitely not putting the Ethan creep <laughs> when I decide to use my smartphone, so I land on the wide angle shot. What about you? What is your shooting style? Let us know in the comments, and while you're at it, check out our YouTube channel mobilegeeks.de and I'm at youtube.com slash gadgetmatch. Until the next video. I'm your host Nicole Scott and I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.